Hello and welcome back to another how to draw video. In this one we're going to have a look at how to draw Jack Skellington. I've marked out the basic shapes that you'll need to start off with. Um, so for the head, we're just using quite a large circle doesn't need to be completely 100% symmetrical. I think everybody finds it very difficult <laughs> to draw a completely perfect circle. Um, and then we've got a bit of a rectangle minus the top and bottom ends coming off of that, which is about so kind of about my thumb width in length. And then we've got the basic shape of the top of a triangle here at the bottom. You don't need to worry about completely joining it up because this will form the shoulders a little bit later. So first we'll have a look at um, putting the outline in around Jack Skellington's head. To begin with Jack's head it shouldn't need a great deal of adjusting really because his head is quite circular to begin with but what we want to do um, is come about halfway along this side and we're going to start sloping that up towards the top curve it around a bit here bring it down this side at this point then we're going to slope it down a little bit we want to bring this edge around just a little bit further past this point here so it's just a little bit lower because his mouth will fall in line here in a little bit sorry camera's miles away there and then the uh, bottom half of his face which is literally gonna darken the outline of that bottom circle I'll tidy this up a bit later. These lines are quite rough still. Gives you an idea. This line joins on to this bit here. So you can see it's not hugely different from the circular shape we started off with. Um, we just slope these sides ever so slightly and we've just widened it a little bit to allow for um, the mouth to be introduced. We'll put an outline on for the mouth to begin with. This will require a bit more detail adding in, but just as a starting point. So we want to start with this kind of halfway-ish point we put in when we did the head outline. And we want to curve that around, keeping it quite close to this edge of his head and then we're going to put a little bit of a kind of an abrupt corner here where we'll start to curve this along and this should join up here just going to curve this tiny bit more Kind of top edge of the mouth and then the bottom if we start about here in this corner again this needs to stick very low along the bottom of his head and we want this to reach almost this side of his face but not completely touch it and we're going to bring a very thin line up so we've just got the smallest part of jaw essentially there so we'll pop a bit more detail into that one um, in a minute uh, next we'll um, tidy up a bit of his neck a second so 
we want to bring it just a little bit wider than what we've started with each side just some curved lines and then bring that down we actually want it to be a bit longer than um, the guidelines that we put in so just bring that down a bit further because he has got quite a long neck and we'll just curve add a couple of lines at the bottom there temporarily ready to add his shoulders on in a little bit we'll start with um, his left eye to begin with or essentially his right eye but it's on our left <laughs> and um, what you probably find easiest to draw this with to begin with is if you draw a bit of an ovular circle shape and uh, this needs to be a little over some width up from the uh, top edge of the mouth if you draw a bit of an ovular circle initially like that what you can then do is if you carry this bottom line along a bit further um, as you can see I've put in there you can then start to curve that around and bring that up to the top so you've got his uh, first eye the um, next eye you can do similar again obviously it's not going to be quite the same shape because we're actually drawing him with a sort of side angle it's not a front on um, so this will need to be thinner in um, width if you do similar so start like that so you've got your basic oval shape again and then this needs just bringing out not massively just enough give it that kind of hollowy skeleton eye look what you can actually do is add another little line going around again this is going to give this um, eye a bit of a more of a 3d effect once it's shaded in where you've got kind of the edge of the bone there to give it some depth so we'll get rid of that line when we shade but um, this one will stay on the edge here so next we can pop his nose in so if you start with um, this right eye here and if you just work your way out just a tiny bit doesn't need to be much about there-ish you can see where I put that mark in there about roughly the right area and um, you can put one of his nostrils in these are just ovular shapes again don't want to make it too big see there that's around the size you want and then the one on the left that needs to be similar in length but we're going to make it just a little bit narrower again to give that sense of his head being a slightly angled direction so something along those lines again and then we will um, pop in his mouth and the detail there the mouth is relatively straightforward um, it just needs a little bit of detail so we're going to pop in his teeth first of all which you don't always see throughout the whole of the film they are there, it just gives a bit of a toothy grin every so often. So these are just made up of kind of curved rectangular shapes, so they don't really have very sharp corners on them. As you can see. Give 
do the bit of shading later in the video to make them look a little bit more 3D and you could put these in where you wanted I'm trying to go by the actual character myself ones are a lot less um, visible, it's more just a, an edge of where they are. One more in there. That'll do for the teeth. So hopefully it's already beginning to take a bit of shape. And then next is a case of um, putting in the uh, kind of lines and the shapes of the bone. So I'll put in a couple um, on video to show you. And then I will cut, also put the rest in because that could take a little while to do them. So what we're doing is um, putting a line. You'll want to vary the length of these lines as you go around his face. So we'll do the one next to this tooth it's going to be a bit shorter here and then we've got a, a lighter line coming off of it and what you want to do is you reach the kind of the bottom of the line Let's zoom in there sorry the camera's picked up now um, you can see I've just curved it ever so slightly. So I go on to do the next one. I've just been round and rubbed all the little rough lines out so you can see the eyes are looking like the proper crack shape now and bits uh, where we had the shapes down here have been tidied up as well. So we'll begin with the shading. I recommend if you've got one handy um, to actually use sort of a neutral coloured charcoal pencil um, or you can use sticks if you get on better with those um, to do some of the shading on Jack Skellington because there are parts where there's very dark blacks which a pencil isn't so great at creating. If you haven't got a charcoal pencil or any kind of charcoal handy don't worry. Um, if not I'd recommend perhaps using something like a 4 to 6B pencil instead. Um, you need to press a bit harder though to get those darker tones. So we'll start with the eyes. Zoom in a little bit there. And what we want to do is um, start with a darker patch here. And then we want to lighten our way out. So I'm just going to kind of put rough bits in to give you an idea and then I'll cut and tidy this up as I go because you could be here a while waiting for me to um, shade this in. So this part to this side of the eye needs to be really dark and then you want to work your way out lighter and lighter as you go around. So I'll cut a second um, and I'll just finish that off. Same applies um, for this eye. I'll just show you the part of this eye that needs to be the darkest. So that's this side here. So you want to bring it out lighter towards this edge. So I'll cut and do those bits and then I'll come back. That's the eyes shaded in. So you can see I've just graduated the tone gently, the lighting in here isn't the greatest. Hopefully you can see how that's graduated out. We'll shade the nose next. This side of the nose is mostly 
a dark black. I just graduate out ever so slightly lighter again towards the left side, which is the same as what we did with this eye. And then this eye, got a bit of a dark edge again on the same side as the right nostril. And again, get lighter towards the edge. They should look a little bit like that. Now the mouth has got a few patches of dark in it and then it gets lighter in other places. So what I'll do again is I'll pop in where the dark patches are and then I'll neaten it up and uh, come back to the video. So we've got a dark patch over here. Just putting in this in very roughly so you can see. Hopefully, after the eyes, you've got a sort of general idea. So, be careful to work around the teeth. So this patch here is quite dark, and then you've got a patch here. parts dark as well and then the rest again it graduates out um, so that the kind of middle of this light patch is the lightest so I'll shade that in uh, quickly and then come back again I've now shaded the inside of the mouth and as you can see here what I meant about these dark patches and then it gets sort of light towards the middle I used the charcoal pencil for one more area, which is uh, his the collar bit and the uh, the back wings, because these are again another very dark black area. So um, it's just a case of putting in stripes on the collar. If you're not comfortable doing this freehand, perhaps mark them in first of all with a pencil this gives you the uh, general gist there I will carry on again um, off camera doing those and then come back. I'll just show you what to do with the uh, bat at the same time as well and I'll do that all at once. So the head is just all shaded black, this gives a rough idea. And then the uh, bat wings follow a very similar pattern to the collar, they're kind of black and white striped. Um, the white stripes are a lot less apparent so you want quite thick black stripes and then you could probably actually get away with just very lightly shaded charcoal and then another black stripe hopefully you can see there what I mean so I'll uh, finish shading those bits in and then we'll come back for the final parts of the shading Bottom's all shaded in now, around his collar and the uh, back. We're just going to put a bit of shading now like on the head and face and the teeth to try and bring that to life a bit more. So I recommend coming back to using a pencil now or you could use um, a light charcoal if you wanted to instead. Um, and uh, we're going to pop some shading on. We want this side of the head to be very light, very light pencil grey. Again, I'm not going to 
do the whole thing I'll just put patches in so you can see so we want this side to be lightly shaded and we want this to finish around the nose area here and sloping down this way sorry camera's away then and the bottom is very much the same so we want to shade pretty much this patch here and the neck again follows a similar pattern so a bit darker under the chin but then this side predominantly slightly darker and then we'll come back up here and we want to put a little bit of a patch comes above the eye here and we want to make sure we shade this piece that we drew in around the eye so we'll cover that um, and I'll shade that and come back and then it's just a case of putting a little bit of detail onto the teeth this is Jack Skeleton almost nearly all shaded in now I have done my shading quite roughly just so I could get on with the rest of the video to show you roughly what he should look like you can see here I put a slightly sorry it's bad light in here now um, a slightly uh, darker patch by the nose there to kind of give the shape of nose and a bit around the eye here and a little bit around this eye here which are kind of extra bits that I've added in so the final part really is just the mouth and teeth so we'll start with these kind of denty bits here and what we want to do is I keep taking my hand away so you can see what I'm up to darken them up a little bit because they've uh, got lost with the shading and also all the way from this side round to about here we want the um, grey shading to be on the left side so that's what I mean of the line so the left edge of this I'm being silly as well don't know my left and right I mean right <laughs> right side of the line sorry And then once we reach this point then, it's where it switches to the left side. Because the lighting obviously changes. So this side we want them on the left. And um, from this point, which you kind of can do both sides, and then it swaps to the right side. And the same applies on the bottom as well. Everything from about this point is on the left side. And then from this point up this way, it's all on the right hand side of the line. So I'll cut and do that in a second. And the actual teeth themselves, they follow a similar pattern with the light. So we want, um, we'll start with the ones on this edge that are a bit more in the light. So we want a grey patch here bringing them into the light and you can darken up the little joins where any are next to each other and then the ones on the top row again we can pop a grey patch here and the ones on sort of further around and on the top row uh, we can pop a dark line in here but then this side essentially will remain a bit lighter and so on so the, the light kind of almost touches the dark see it shades and gets lighter and then shades into it and gets lighter so similar to these ones up here so what I'll do is I'll go around and um, pop all of those in as well and then I'll come back right at the end where we'll finish up and there we have it there's one Jack Skellington so again, bear in mind that my shading has been done very roughly, it's just to give you an idea what to do, but I hope you find this video helpful. 
um, if you've got any questions feel free to ask and if there's any more video requests you've got please let me know and I hope to see you again soon for another video. Thanks, bye!